Yo, yo, welcome to the madness. Tonight, as you guys can see, I am wearing my Houston Astros hat right here. And uh, that's because uh, we're going to be giving you guys a little cheat code for TOA Heart. Uh, as you can see here, I've got the Light Homunculus tree up. Now, this is the skill tree that you want on her. Uh, as you can see, I went with the Operation Alpha Accelerate. I did not go up with the Power Up. And that is because uh, her AI will prioritize this because it does a buff. And, uh, it, it buffs attack and it's a heal. So it'll prioritize it over this. And this is the money skill. This is the one we want. So let's go. Let me go right into TOA and showcase the team. Okay, here we go. Let's press play. All right. So this is the best team I came up with. And uh, I know right away, you know, the first thing that happens is you look at the team and you're like, oh my God, I don't have Ganny. I don't have Varad. You know, I don't have the Druid. I can't do this team. All right, well, hold up. Hold your horses, all right? Uh, they are just filling roles. That's all they're doing. Now, this is the best team I could come up with, and I'll tell you why in a second, all right? So, really, all you need is you need uh, the map uh, to pretty much just refresh those skills, right? To reduce everybody's cooldowns. Now, aside from the Varad, uh, the Gany, and the Druid, uh, they are just my control monsters. That's all they are. Now, the fact that all of them have a tech bark reduction makes this team even better. All right, so what I want you to do is I, I kind of just want you to start thinking, okay, who do I have that has ideally like two control skills? For example, you know, like the Water Silt, uh, Tyron, right? Uh, he 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 would be amazing here, and I and I I've used him as well. Plus, he gives us low. I mean, he's he's awesome here. If you do have the Druid Varad or Ganymede, they are amazing as well. Uh, Ganymede, in uh, specifically, I pulled him maybe about two months ago, so I hadn't had a chance to play with him. But you know, I don't have Arika. If I had Arika, man, I'd throw her in there. I mean, she she would wreck this as well. So pretty much, you just want you know just. Three standard control, uh, you know, just AOE damage dealers. Uh, it could be the dots with the Rika. It could be uh, somebody with an AOE defense break, kind of like how I'm using the Druid here. You know, you could use a Despair Rocky, a Despair Ethna. It, it really doesn't matter. You just need enough control. If you got one that's got double AOE control and then, you know, a, a defense breaker and then just another one, uh, just to supplement the team, that's really all you need, all right? But as you, I don't know if you guys have been watching, you know, uh, right here, I have it set up to where the map will move uh, right after the homunculus, and that's so that the homunculus can pretty much give him a research, and then, and then he can do his cooldown reduction and, you know, just keep it going again. Now, this team is not the fastest because, you know, I'm reducing their attacks so much, they're not moving. I don't have that many dots, right? So you can play around with your team however you want and make it faster if you want, if that's what you want. But if you just want to clear and do it on auto like I do, uh, I really just kind of throw the phone in my pocket and then, you know, just look at it, you know, usually while I'm doing something else. Uh, lately, now, now that I've been playing on blue stacks, it's so awesome. I can watch a YouTube video and just minimize the blue stacks, and I can, you know, just uh, click it back open. And hey, look, they cleared. Uh, it, it's really nice. But yeah, guys, uh, I just wanted to share this with you guys today, and I, I don't want to make this a very long video. Uh, like I said, do not look at the units that I'm using. It's really just the homunculus paired with the map that gets this going and they're, they're kind of like the gas uh the gasoline to the fire they're just going to keep it going uh again these were my three best control units uh, especially uh you know obviously Varad's amazing right uh and the defense break really helps for me with the with the because my my Varad is on crit damage so it's going to help speed it up a little bit uh, you, like I said, if you have a, like a Rika or just even two, like the daughters, the water homunculus, you know, whatever, pretty much whatever uh, three control slash damage units you've already been using and maybe you've been manually, build this homunculus, get the map in there, 
and you're going to see that, I mean, man, it, it, it's, it really does feel like a cheat code, man. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. As you guys can see here, they're, they're, I mean, they pretty much got this down, no problem. And I, they've been plying, plowing through all of TOA. I don't uh, just, you know, easily. Uh, yes, even the Artemis stage, all the boss stages as well. Uh, you uh, Depending on your room quality, I will say, you know, you may have a wipe or two. I don't know. Uh, depending on, on what monsters you're using for control. Uh, one key factor I will point out is the Druid does also break attack. So I'm sure that helps. Uh, so don't uh, maybe think about something like that as you're going. But I, I, I just want to show you guys the runes on 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 the map and the homie because man they're bad <laughs> they're they're not good all right so the map is on violent fight uh mainly for other stuff uh but yeah see he's got plus nine thousand hp only plus 200 defense plus 79 speed 81 accuracy and uh these are his runes look at that uh not you know, five star runes. He's got an attack rune. I threw this on there probably because of the speed, and you know, I didn't use it on anyone. Uh, that one's just, yeah, yeah. I mean, look at that. This is just I, I had no one to throw that on, so I, I just threw that on him for the speed. And he obviously he doesn't need resistance, right? <laughs> he shouldn't even get hit. But if that that's it. You know, you you don't you just need the right turn order. And map can go before or after the homunculus. It really doesn't matter. And then I'll show you the homunculus again. Uh, the runes I had on her were actually a little too fast before I started doing this. So <laughs> look what I did. I literally am running her with only four runes. And that's just because I I, I, I didn't want to mess with the speed so much. Uh, which would have required me to actually move these. Uh, normally I was running her on a shield shield will. Uh, like pretty fast build for guild wars which is a lot of fun as well on this same build so that's it guys uh, there you have it so there you go guys the light homie paired with map is a cheat code for toa heart if you didn't know now you know you know